Elon Musk has progressed the Tesla brand from a niche business for the few into an electric vehicle empire that has consistently broken the train of thought when it comes to the everyday usage of plug-in cars. Before the revolutionary Model 3 was released to the masses, the then Silicon Valley startup was experimenting with what they could produce with just an electric powertrain. With a love for sports cars himself, Elon Musk began developing the Tesla Roadster. As Tesla announced a new generation of Roadster due for the release in 2022, let's look back at the original Tesla Roadster and all the things that made it perhaps the most special car that Tesla has designed so far. Why so special? The goal with the Tesla Roadster was to emulate the emotion and driving experience of a lightweight sports car while showcasing the innovation and creativity that Tesla had been developing with their electric drivetrains. It is also the first production car to be launched into deep space, carried by a Falcon Heavy rocket in a test flight on February 6, 2018. It was the first Tesla. In 2003, Tesla Inc. was founded by two American entrepreneurs, Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpening. The company was named after the Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla. The majority of the funding for the venture came from Elon Musk, who soon went on to become the CEO. Then in 2008, Tesla released their first car. The completely electric Tesla Roadster was groundbreaking. It could achieve up to 245 miles on a single charge, which at the time was a range unprecedented for any production electric car. Performance figures were comparable to that of the most lightweight gas-powered sports cars. The Roadster could see off the 0 to 60 miles per hour time in just 3.7 seconds and could go on to reach a top speed of 125 miles per hour. The lightweight car body was made of carbon fiber and was based on the chassis of the already popular Lotus Elise. The Roadster set the theme for Tesla, producing no running emissions at all as it did not use any form of an internal combustion engine. Despite its sportiness and nimble handling, Tesla found that the Roadster reached efficiency ratings equivalent to gas mileage of 135 miles per gallon. The vehicle's electric powertrain was made up of lithium-ion cells, the same kind used in laptop batteries. These could be recharged from a standard electrical outlet. It was a while out from the supercharger infrastructure they have today. Despite the government discount, the Roadster ended up costing $109,000 so it was a long way from the affordability Tesla has achieved today. Despite only having a single-speed transmission, the Tesla Roadster provides a truly spirited drive. With all the power going to the rear wheels and extremely sharp and nimble handling, it was really a special package. All this meant that the Roadster became the first electric vehicle to win the Monte Carlo Alternative Energy Rally. The Roadster was also awarded a number of awards for innovation and overall design. It was truly a push of the boundaries for all things automotive and showcased the extent of Tesla's research and development network. It was the world's first truly green supercar and the first electric car you can use every day. For a car that was released over 14 years ago, it was truly ahead of its time. It was the first electric vehicle to travel more than 200 miles on a single charge, and during its production from 2008 to 2012, Tesla sold about 2,450 Roadsters in over 30 countries. And most of the last Roadsters were sold in Europe and Asia during the fourth quarter of 2012, with one going in the garage of eco-advocate Leonardo DiCaprio. Tesla produced right-hand drivetrain Roadsters from early 2010 and qualified for government incentives in several nations. Although the technology used in the original Roadster is undoubtedly modern, it may appear quite ancient to those who have become familiar with current Tesla models. Furthermore, the Roadster itself was, for the first time, an electric car with a usable and livable range, accompanied by genuinely thrilling dynamics while also being offered as a commercial proposition that could be purchased. At the time, most electrical cars announced by manufacturers were no more than a concept a PR stunt that would never see the light of production. A drop-top sports convertible with an electric powertrain providing instant torque to the rear wheels, it was a recipe the world had never seen before. While the Roadster shares a lot of common mechanical components with the Lotus Elise, on which it was based, the body panels and drivetrain are fully Tesla. The Roadster is what's called a 2 plus 2, meaning it has two full seats in the front and two smaller seats in the back, meaning that if you really wanted to, you could probably squeeze four people into the car, as long as the rear passengers are small people. Other 2 plus 2 cars include Audi's TT Coupe and the Porsche 911. 
In addition to all of these, Elon Musk has continued to tweak and improve the design and general effectiveness to the Tesla Roadster. The original Tesla Roadster put all electric automakers on the map. Elon Musk claims that the new Roadster will go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mind-bending 1.1 seconds. You're probably wondering how Musk plans to gain that full extra second over the competitors. The CEO announced that the specs publicized back in 2017 were just base specs. Spectators to the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles first spotted the jaw-dropping acceleration assertion as part of a two-week exhibit on the Tesla Roadster. The day after the reveal, patrons and investors tweeted asking Musk if the reveal could be true. Elon Musk, to answer this question, also tweeted back, replying that the SpaceX rocket thrusters option package was true, safe, but intense. Probably not wise for those with medical conditions, same as a hardcore roller coaster. He confirmed that the new Tesla Roadster will offer a special SpaceX package, fitting rocket thrusters into the already impressive Roadster. Sticking with Musk's roller coaster analogy, there is something called gravitational force, or G-force, that one experiences while on the ride. Most coasters give off within four to five Gs, less than one-tenth of a second at a time, according to a story in the BBC. This means that for a short while, one feels about four to five times heavier, slamming your weight back across the seat. Fighter pilots usually train to withstand a very high gravitational force of up to eight to nine Gs for an extended time. But this sort of gravitational force could injure or even kill a normal, inexperienced man. On May 20th, 2021, Elon Musk replied that the Roadster with SpaceX rocket thrusters will be used to achieve this speed. The SpaceX package with cold air thrusters around the vehicle would be used to boost the vehicle's performance. Rocket thrusters are typically used for spacecrafts, used as a propulsion device for acceleration and altitude control. The second generation Roadster beats its predecessor by adding two small rear seats, significantly more driving range, and a much higher level of performance. At this point, it is still not clear how much faster than 1.9 seconds to 60 miles per hour the new Roadster can get with the SpaceX package, but some have suggested that it could accelerate to 60 miles per hour as fast as 1.1 seconds. Musk mentioned that at Tesla, they would use compressed air from behind the license plate, which would automatically flip up when the feature is engaged. Futurism calculated that the Rocket Booster Roadster would produce 2.5 Gs of force on the drivers. Rocket-powered vehicles are common for professionals attempting to break land speed records, sometimes reaching over 700 miles per hour. However, those cars aren't street legal, and the manufacturers usually throttle down luxury sports cars at an arbitrary speed in the interest of safety. It's a similar distance between NASCAR's stock cars and the fully custom-built chassis that have engines of Indy cars or F1. During the conference, Musk noted that the Roadster will come with an all-wheel drive. It's not a surprising fact, though, because Tesla's mainstream electric models utilize two electric motors, one in the front and one in the rear, to drive all four wheels. So it makes sense that we'll see the same structure and design for the Roadster. The subsequent success of future Tesla models make the Roadster all the more intriguing and special. Not only is it a very interesting car to drive, but it's the earliest Tesla and one of the earliest production electric cars. With such a legendary legacy and taking such a significant point in the history of electric cars, the Tesla Roadster goes down as one of the most special and collectible pieces in automotive history. With such small production numbers, they are already fetching a premium. And with time, it's no doubt that they will continue to appreciate. So guys, now that you've watched the video, would you rather drive a Tesla Roadster, a Lamborghini, or a Porsche? Or maybe a Ferrari? Let me know in the comments below.